Six-time NBA All-Star Amari Stoudemire made a splash on social media when he took a soak in a hot tub filled with red, red wine. Some critics, including my co-host Lauren Wolf, have denounced this use of wine as sad, wasteful, and idiotic. So stick around to find out if it's worth your money. Hey everyone, Matt here. Stoudemire got his soak on at the Air Ancient Baths in New York, which claims its $500 wine ritual lets clients experience the antioxidant effects of red wine. What does that mean? Red wine has antioxidants like sulfur dioxide and compounds called anthocyanins and tannins that protect wine from spoiling. Biologically speaking though, antioxidants are a little more mysterious. The popular premise is that antioxidants in our bodies hunt down free radicals, reactive molecules that can damage things like proteins and DNA. But that might be an oversimplification. Antioxidants do play a role in our health, but scientists are still trying to nail down exactly how these compounds work in our body, how many we need, and the best way to get them. Sitting in a tub of Merlot may not be our best bet. And here's why. A lot of wine's antioxidants are phenolic compounds, molecules like quercetin here. But phenolic compounds in wines don't penetrate skin so well. Assuming that these molecules are bestowing a health benefit, you'd be better off going with a cream or a lotion that sticks to your skin for a while, rather than going with a one-off wine soak. But we have a strict don't knock it till you've tried it policy here at Speaking of Chemistry, so, I'm joined now by executive producer Noel Waghorn. Hello. And some of the finest box wine we could find slash afford. And I think that's all we need to get our little experiment started. Let's do it. But I don't think we are appropriately dressed. That is a very good point. Should we go for a quick change? I think we should. Quick change! Something to consider while we're soaking is that antioxidants are also reacting with the oxygen in air. The longer the wine is out of the bottle, or the bladder in our case, the more likely it is to lose its antioxidant thunder. So I've heard to maximize the benefit of a wine bath, uh, what benefit there is, you actually want to do it in the sun because the sun's light, the UV rays can induce free radicals in your skin, and so that gives the antioxidants a chance to do work directly. Because it's acidic, wine is also a decent exfoliate and its tannins are astringents. You see we brought our lunch into the, into the tub, to the pool. Um, I'm enjoying that. I feel like this is definitely a spa-like experience, so I can definitely see the appeal there. It's, it's, it's not luxurious, because it's a child's pool, but I mean, it's a nice way to enjoy your lunch. It's not a bad way to enjoy your lunch. I, I don't know that my skin is any tighter yet. And that's just it. There are plenty of products out there that can do what the wine does for your skin, for a lot less money and a lot less staining. That's all the time we have for this Speaking of Chemistry. We'd like to give a huge thanks to the experts that explain the science behind this episode, Gavin Sachs, Andrew Waterhouse, Randy Schuler, and Brenda Baker, who happens to be a government certified wine chemist. That's a thing you can be? Yeah, that's a thing you can be. You can learn more about their work in the description below, where we've also included some of CNN's top shelf wine stories. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and bathe responsibly. How do I look though, is the question. You look fantastic. I look okay. Yeah. Should I wear sunglasses or no sunglasses? Um, I think it's appropriate to wear sunglasses. Yeah, I kind of wish I brought my sunglasses now. Okay, I look okay. I'm joined now by, speaking of chemistry, executive producer, Noel Waghorn. Sorry, start again. <laughs>